to explain to you about the, the catheter now. And here's your catheter kit. And we're going to open this kit up. And this outer packaging here, you can go ahead and fold it back and use that for your trash bag. So I'll open that for my trash bag. And then the catheter kit itself, I'm going to open it away from myself. So we're going to open it away. And the reason we do that is because we don't want to be putting our germs over the sterile field. This is the sterile field right here. So you want to open it away so your germs aren't falling on the sterile field. So now that we get that open, I'm just going to get these edges back. And there's kind of a little unwritten rule that you can touch the outer maybe half an inch edge um, of your sterile field here just to move it around. And if you need to move it, move it from underneath like this instead of on top because this is all sterile. So you can move this back here out of the way. The next thing we're going to do is take the top sheet by the very edge and the edges that you touch, these two edges are going to go under the patient. If you look really good, this side is shiny and this is flat. So we're going to put the shiny side on the bed just ask your patient to lift up and we'll place that under the patient. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the gloves out and you take your gloves off the sterile field and we'll just open them right here on the edge of the bed or you can open them on the table too. You just don't want them on your sterile field. Let me move my sterile field out of the way. And for sterile gloving, remember that you pick it up on the inside of the glove, slide your hand in like this, and then the second one, it's under the edge right here, slide your hand in, and then you want to adjust them from the middle and right here. So I can touch this in the middle because it's still sterile and get it out of the way. And this I can touch in the middle because it's sterile. Okay, but this is my real sterile field here. Now I'm going to take this little barrier out and I'm going to place it on the patient so it can be a barrier between my hand and the patient. This right here is the catheter and we'll take this little piece of plastic off of the catheter I'm just going to place the catheter right here for a moment because we want it all contained as close as possible. Now there's three things in this plastic tray that you're going to want to take care of. First of all, you're going to have your cleaning solution here. And we'll just pretend like we're opening it. We're going to open it and pour it over the cotton balls right here. And then when you dis dispose of any of your stuff, you want to dispose of it around your sterile field, not around this way where your germs are coming off, but around your sterile field this way. Now if you'll see over here how I've accidentally covered my trash can, I'm just going to take this box right here and use it as an alternative trash can. So I'm just going to put that right there. So you have a choice right there. The next thing we're going to do is here's some lubrication and you can just squeeze that into, into here too and get rid of that. And then the last thing, so that's two things. You put your um, peroxide of your cotton balls, you have your lubrication, and then you have your sterile water that you're going to inject into the balloon. So what we're going to do here is find this little opening right here and you can just check the end of that. See how it's coming into the end of that? That's going to hold it into the bladder. And you just want to see if it's going to work. A lot of the hospitals just have you attach the syringe. They don't have you check it beforehand. So just depending on the hospital protocol. Also another thing I wanted to tell you is sometimes your lubrication comes in a pouch kind of like this. And if you'll open the pouch and just stick the end of this in like that, then you don't have to come back and get the lubrication over here. So you can just get a little pouch, 
and open it and stick the end into that. So your cotton balls, lubrications, and check the balloon. Next, you're going to come up here to the patient and you're going to establish a dirty hand. So this is my dirty hand. I'm going to open the labia and I'm going to take my little tweezers here and I'm going to start on the far side away from me and go from top to bottom on the labia. So I'm going to take that and go from top to bottom and around my sterile filled and drop it in the trash can. And the next one, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go the, the outer side from top to bottom around the sterile filled and drop it in the trash. Then the next, I'm going to come to the inner side and go around the sterile field, I mean, go from top to bottom and then around the sterile field and drop it. Then I'll do that with the next one, the next clean one, from top to bottom, around the sterile field and drop it. And then I have two left and I'm going to go straight down the middle, around the sterile field, and straight down the middle, around the sterile field. And drop your little tweezers that you're holding it with. At this point, you're going to take your catheter and you're going to insert it into the urethra and when you see a flashback right here in your tube of urine you're going to advance it another two to three inches on a female. You will advance it a total of seven to nine inches on a male so you can get it through the penile shaft without hurting the patient. Now I have it this, now this is really important to remember, see my hands right here? With my dominant hand that's holding it keep holding it because it's lubricated and if the patient coughs or sneezes then the lubrication is going to force it out so keep it held with your hand take your non-dominant hand and push in your fluid with your non-dominant hand while holding it with your dominant hand when you've done that you can give a little tug with your dominant hand to make sure that it's go going to stay in place. And after that is done, and after your syringe is empty with fluid, you want to empty your whole syringe, disconnect it, and then you will tape it to the inner thigh of the female and to the lower abdomen of a male. And then you're going to take this and hang it on the bed the bed frame, not the bed rail. And right here is an important little thing because you can actually take a syringe and connect it right here to this port and get a sterile specimen from it. If you need a sterile urine specimen from the catheter tube. And then when you go to disconnect the catheter, DC it or discontinue it, all you need is a brand new syringe and you're going to attach it right here and you're just going to pull the fluid out of it until it slides out of the patient. So you want to make sure all that fluid is out because you don't want to pull out a bulb that's still inflated. So all you need is a pair of gloves and a new syringe for that. And that's your catheter. See if you can answer these questions.